Events that have really made a big difference are things like the Autism Center grant that Dr. Ami Klin brought in, the recruitment of people like Dr. Doug Graham to lead our AFLAC Cancer Center, the point of care testing grant that Wilbur Lamb brought to Atlanta, the partnership with Georgia Tech uh, in, in creation of the Pediatric Technology Center, and the broad collaborative spirit that has evolved between Emory and Children's. The Emory Children's academic relationship began in the 1950s. Many of us have heard the stories of the infamous trailers where the department was located, and those trailers were actually faculty offices, and there were some laboratories that were there. In the early 2000s, Dr. Jim Talley, who was uh, the CEO of Children's, and Dr. Devin Cornish, who was the Department of Pediatrics chairman, began building the Emory Children's Center. And that building opened in 2004. At that time, there were about 15 pediatric uh, researchers with a total of uh, $4 million in NIH funding. And at that point, we ranked 49th in the nation in terms of um, NIH funding for departments of pediatrics. And when Donna Hyland became uh, the CEO in 2008, she realized that in order for Children's to be a leading pediatric institution, it had to have a national presence in pediatric research. It represented a singular commitment on the part of children's to build an academic enterprise uh, in pediatrics, and it allowed us to build the, the infrastructure to support research and to recruit outstanding uh, research faculty. And now Lucky Jane is taking us to a, a new level. So we have got a lot of really exciting work going on here at Emory and Children's uh, Healthcare of Atlanta. We became part of PCORN um, in 2019, which is a prestigious network of academic emergency departments. So we are now a site that contributes to you know, these multi-center studies in ill and injured children. In March of 2020, we suddenly found ourselves rapidly shutting down our research efforts and trying to navigate you know, this safely for our patients and our families. The Emory and Children's Department of Pediatrics faculty showed their resilience by redirecting their efforts towards addressing this new crazy pandemic. And the COVID-19 response was truly remarkable. Emory and Children's Healthcare of Atlanta really making a difference in the community. There's over 60 investigators who've been working on COVID-19 projects and over 75 COVID-19 publications in the last year. One of our highlights, work that was done by Evan Anderson and his colleagues in infectious disease, uh, Emory contributed to um, all three phases of the Moderna vaccine studies. We have had the benefit of, of um, 21 investigators who've actually brought in more than a million dollars to the Department of Pediatrics from federal funding in 2020. We here at Children's are really at the cutting edge when it comes to diagnosing and treating childhood and adolescent disease. Uh, what the NIH has actually done in the last couple of years is they gave us an award uh, several years ago to develop a center that's really focused on point of care technologies and the center is, is based here at Children's, at Emory and at Georgia Tech and our goal has really been to foster the development of these technologies. The NIH saw that we had not only the right patient population in our kids and the adults at Emory, but also that we had the technical and engineering expertise at Emory and at Georgia Tech to be able to build these technologies. So what we're doing here is we've developed a multi-pronged approach where we have our virologists, we have our clinicians, we have our engineers all working together to really figure out what the best COVID-19 diagnostic tests are. The culture here that is so cooperative and so willing to help each other is unlike any I've seen in the rest of the country. Some of the other things that have happened of late that are likely to change our trajectory are the Woodruff grant that we received last year. It's a $90 million gift to pediatrics to recruit 30 top-notch clinicians and scientists. The opening of Arthur M. Blank Hospital in 2025 
will open the gates to talent from all over the country who want to come here and practice in a state-of-the-art facility. Emory had launched a very ambitious project to build HSRB2 pediatrics will have a large amount of space in that building, 40,000 square feet, that will be home for the next 30 investigators. And that will create a new path for discovery and our journey from excellence to eminence. What is so unique about us here in that we have the clinical volumes to drive clinical trials, take translational research and put it, give it true meaning. Because as these discoveries are made at the bench, we can quickly bring them over to the bedside and make them available in real time to families that are suffering, to children who need cures. That's the promise of science.